What up guys, it's Doc Dose here bringing you a matchup between uh, Labriziana and Doc Doser, which is me. <laughs> uh, let's get it popping. Uh, we have those 15s. We have the... Oh shit, he speeds at... Uh, well, I don't know if that's correct or not, but... It looks kind of... I don't know if he's using the right boxer or not, but let's hope he is. An 80 reach, but nah, it's probably not him. Well, it is what it is. Let's get it popping. Uh, this is for the title. It's just, I think, I'm not sure which title it is, but uh, I know it's for a title, and I know the is a beast, and he's good at what he does. And I gotta do what I gotta do, and let's see if I can make it happen, man. Good evening, everybody. Glad you've made the decision to join us alongside Teddy Atlas and Andre Tessitore. We're glad to be bringing you action and welcome you to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada, for our main event. Sure, you, friend. Twelve rounds in the middleweight division. Great atmosphere here tonight. You talk to everybody ringside, and they expect this one to be a bar burn. <coughs> He's on his way to the ring. You can see it in his eyes. You just know he's got that feeling tonight. <coughs> athletic kind of guy. Teddy, you're probably not a fan of this, are you? Somebody that appreciates the sweet science so much. No, what I'm a fan of is his confidence. I'm a fan of the pure talent, the pure ability, the timing, the anticipation, the speed, all those things. But you need a vehicle to take that talent, to drive it somewhere. You know, you, and the vehicle is good technical development, good technical understanding. And he leaves that by the road. And he's just off walking by himself without that. And you're going to pay a price to a lady. Good return fire that time. Good block there by Reyes. Halfway through this round. A good counter punch by the Ghost. by Reyes. Blocks a shot and then lands an uppercut of his own. 
Not getting it done with that straight right hand. Final 10 seconds of round number one. End of the round. And this is a little bit hard to take if you're sitting back at home watching this fight and saying, I, I just don't get it. I mean, if you want to win the fight, you have to throw punches. Maybe he doesn't want to win the fight. See, you're taking for granted that... What, is he scared? He's fearful? Hey, everybody's scared. Anyone who's in that ring is scared. He's not controlling his fear. He's not taking it. And that's for people in all aspects of life, whatever they do. You have to take whatever it is that can intimidate you, and you got to put it on the side and say, okay, right now, I'm not going to let that get in the way. He's letting it get in the way. A headshot blocked. Nowhere close that punch by Reyes. At this stage of a fight, Teddy, in these very early moments, how much is your training career will really stress to a guy to try to go to the body? Very much, because it sets up things later on, and it takes away things that he's trying to do. You know, he's trying to move his upper body. You go downstairs, takes a lot of that away. Able to block that away, it was targeted for his head. punching, landing both shots. Good job with another left hand. That's a 
forceful shoe punch combo by Reyes. Ten clicks of the top. Want this fight? You want this fight? You gotta stick to it. You're losing this fight because it's not going to any punch at all. I'm oh, because I have to concentrate. This was, this was bad. It's, it's too hard to commentate. I think that sometimes, sometimes I get caught up. Like it's, uh, you know, they say humans in reality can't multitask. It's true, do You're standing straight up. Move that body. You need to move that body more. I'm just trying to take. I want to win this fight. Come on, come on. Ghost is out in front as we take a look at Teddy's scorecard for the first time tonight, but they're still in a mode of just feeling each other out. Neither man has taken control of this bout so far. guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. Those headshots with his defense up top. 
Ten seconds remaining in this round. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. All right, Kenny, let me put you back in your old job here. You're going to be trainer here now. We're just coming off of a round there. We're clearly, I think he won the round, but it's a close competitive fight that your guys probably won. Yeah, I know what not to tell him. I'm not telling him he's winning. See, that's what I'm not telling him. I want to make sure that he keeps his edge. You know, he stays smart and everything, but the only reason that I think he's up is because he's keeping the punch output. He's staying sharp defensively. You know, he's still attacking in the spots that he's going to attack. I want to keep it that way. Don't fight him, fight. Back to live action now in what has been a closely contested fight. One of those fights that somebody is still waiting to break through and be a difference maker in. Targeting upstairs. Nice work blocking that and then an uppercut of his own. Reyes is wanting to counter punch here, but that doesn't seem the route to go here in this fight, Teddy. No, he has to be honest with himself and see that, but you know, people under pressure in all walks of life, you know, in the ring. And a power shot lands, and all of a sudden it turns the table. A little slow with that jab, and he got caught the right hand. Halfway through round six.
right hand landed. Why is his opponent struggling so much here? Why can he not land a good headshot? Well, one reason is his opponent is moving his head. He's doing a good job of being a loser. But there's no change. He's just throwing straight, naked punches at him. He needs to make a little adjustment, a little adaptation. He needs to feint a little bit. Get a false move, get him out of position, get him off balance, and then time him a little bit. He keeps just throwing at him. He's going to keep doing what he's doing. Move air around. I want you to bang the head and the body, all right? Bounce it over again. Teddy's scorecard has him trailing here. Ray has his chances for possibly getting back into this fight, Teddy? Yeah, it's there. It's a close fight. You know, his opponent is not doing the extra things. He's doing enough to stay ahead. But sometimes that can fall into doing enough to lose. More than one punch downstairs. That could be damaging. Nice over that hook upstairs. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. The ghost is so dangerous with that accuracy and two punch combination land. You know, many times we talk about the fact that, hey, at least he's throwing punches, but that's all you can say in this case, because he's not landing many of these. No, they're being blocked or they're missing. They're definitely not landing clean, and you have to give credit to the other fighter being that good defensively. He fires off the combination there and it lands. Page one to give one, he comes back with a right hand. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Good combination landing there. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Clock counting down here in round number eight. Ten seconds to go. And that's the end of round eight. I think even the casual observer, the guy who doesn't watch a lot of boxing, can look at this right now and tell you he's winning this fight with ease. Yeah, I'm not worried about the casual observer. I'm worried about the so-called professional judge. Time and time again, he showed me that he does not know what he's watching sometimes. But you're right. In this case, it would be hard, almost impossible, to argue for the other fighter. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. Here's something that's a key factor now, and that is his ability to simply defend himself. He's doing a wonderful job. Yeah, he is, and that gives him the ability to always be fresh and confident round after round. He's not taking a lot of money. The Ghost is in a tough spot right now. Boy, he got rocked. He goes from damaged goods to defensive goods. Yeah, because right now he's fighting on instincts. He's doing things without even thinking, just automatic things. Things that he was taught five years ago, two years ago, that maybe he thought about, but he didn't do. Now they're just coming out. He's just naturally surviving. And now he's acting like a fighter. Coming back with the right hand as we're getting scored upon. Seconds of the ninth round. 
Good fight, Breezy. Good fight, man. That's it. It's over. Fight is over. The greatest is power. Just much too much for his opponent. Another knockout for him. I don't know why we're always so shocked, but we just are. You think we've learned by now that anything can happen. Here's a fight that is clearly heading to a decision, and just like that, it's over by knockout. Yeah, you need to go to sleep, take a sleep and go or A straight spam that left up for cut. Bang! For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Fight, good fight. Side.